Today's Bible study is titled, A Gospel Which Is Not Another. In the introduction to this epistle, Paul addressed the unique calling and apostleship that was his, as well as an introduction into the will of God for every believer example to accept the provision of Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Today, Paul introduces the why of this writing to the churches of the Galatian region. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Galatians 1 verse 6 to 7. Many miss the simple statement and thus the whole point of Paul's writing to the Galatian believers. Let's take a closer look. When Paul says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed. It is an indication that he is truly having trouble understanding just how the believers in the Galatian region could have received the mystery message of God's grace and yet apparently back away be removed from it so quickly after expending much energy preaching and teaching the gospel of the grace of God's salvation and establishing them there in doctrine something had happened among the Galatian believers that was derailing their faith eroding the doctrine taught. And this is in no way an indication of a potential loss of salvation impossible if the gospel is believed, rather Galatian believers were having their faith derailed such that they were removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. It was a matter of confused and deceived beliefs. Often, Commentators on the Galatian epistle will refer to this process as the Galatians having listened to people that they call Judaizers. Such commentators will typically observe that these Judaizers were teaching Gentile believers that the beliefs and laws of Judaism must be incorporated into the Christian faith. But Paul speaks of the Galatians as having been removed from the grace of Christ and associated gospel of grace and instead replacing this with another gospel and this is obviously something more than simple incorporation of Judaistic requirements into beliefs, faith, and doctrine. Paul goes on to say that this another gospel which is not another had as a requirement both circumcision and the keeping of the Mosaic Law Galatians 6 verse 12 to 13, yet this seems to be typically ignored by the aforementioned commentators and is not some new group of people. Prior to the revelation of the mystery gospel given to Paul, the gospel of the kingdom was preached to Israel, beginning with John the Baptist, the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom continued throughout the precross teaching of Christ, beginning in Mark 1 verse 15 saying the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand repent ye, and believe the gospel, Christ continues preaching the gospel of the kingdom, saying and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come, Matthew 24 verse 14. By way of explanation, this gospel of the kingdom pertained to God's Davidic kingdom covenant and the associated new covenant that is to be made between God and Israel according to prophecy Jeremiah 31 verse 31 to 34. Per this prophecy, Israel's new covenant makes provision for Israel's obedience to the remaining and applicable aspects of the Mosaic law and continues the sign of the covenant, circumcision. Collectively, this was what the twelve and the little flock Luke 12 verse 32 preached to Israel, calling them to repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you Acts 3 verse 19 to 20. However, Israel refused to repent change their minds about Jesus the Messiah per the witness of the twelve and the little flock, as evidenced by their murder and stoning of Stephen, and therefore God hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all, Romans 11 verse 32, thus, it is easily recognized that the gospel of the kingdom and the associated offering of the new covenant were now temporarily off the table, because by this time blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Romans 11 verse 25. Thus, the gospel of the kingdom, which was another gospel to Israel, 
became for a season that which is not another, yet Paul is writing the Galatians because there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ the gospel of the grace of God that Christ revealed to Paul with this another gospel, the reason for Paul's epistle, we will look more closely at who might have been the ones that trouble you as we continue, tomorrow, but suffice it to say that so-called Bible scholars need not have come up with a new group as many do calling them the Judaizers, as the twelve, the little flock, and those responding to Peter's preaching in Acts 2 at Pentecost were already preaching the gospel of the kingdom and or the associated gospel of the circumcision, which was set aside when Israel was concluded in unbelief. Believer, recognize that with the setting aside of Israel in unbelief, Christ's revelation of the mystery to Paul changed everything, a truth of scripture for which we can be very grateful. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.